some of those things you don't really learn until you get out and start working in bands, yeah. you know, especially the how to lock up with the bass and drums. I, I've seen so many rhythm sections um, argue, discuss, fight about just that, you know, who do you go with? Where, how you know what's the best way to to deal with because you know in a band you you're supposed to play together and I think probably the most important thing to remember in a group whether you're the leader or whether you're not the leader is you have to be unselfish. You cannot be selfish and create uh, any art to its height. I think you know. I think it's it's um, it's very unselfish. I know I, I, the greatest musicians were all very unselfish. Their egos, of course, you have to have an ego, but their ego was not to the point where it, their ego would win out over the music whatever you need to do to make that music the best it can be is what you need to do and if it means you not playing up to your stand, you know uh, what you think you could do but you know say you're just playing whole notes well play the hell out the whole notes you know really m commit to playing whole notes really commit to doing whatever it is that makes that piece of music better, and then you're really contributing. Because I see a lot of a lot of younger guys, especially the ones that can play, um, the ego is just so large that it's not interesting anymore. It's just all about them. It's not, it it becomes not about the music, but it's all about them and. It should always be about the music. Um, if you want to be egotistical and play, you can do that in the house, you know. But when you're creating with other people, other musicians, you all have to take what's best. It's like a basketball, football, any any team. It's teamwork, you know. And even on stage, eye contact is important. You look, you, you say things. I know people used to talk about Miles all the time. Um, you know, he turned his back, you know, he does this. Well, when I joined the band, whenever he turned his back, he was looking at musicians. He was looking and he was making, giving signals or, or saying things like, you know, yeah, that's good. Or, you know, no, that's not good, <laughs> you know, or, or whatever. But he was directing the band. He talk about unselfish musician um, very unselfish musician because he, he was always about the music and to the point where a lot of nights if he wasn't in the shape he thought he should be in he wouldn't even play you know so um, I mean you can't get much more unselfish than that you know people come to see you and you say well I'm not up to par so I can't play of course they would never understand that you know that's the nights they say oh, he didn't show up or this that and the other and um, yeah there were times he didn't show up for other reasons but mainly he was such an uh, artist and such a musician um, that he was always unselfish with his music I, there was one song and I, I haven't heard many musicians do this um, I forget what album it was on but there was an arrangement of Billy Boy that Red Garland and the trio you know, Philly Joe and Paul Chambers used to play. He just let them play that there and record it on their own. That's unselfishness in music. And so um, you study, you work, you, you do the best you can, but remember the music is always first, not, not the musician.